don't think he ever had any thoughts of ever being superintendent. And then when circumstances changed and he had the opportunity to, to step into the job, um, he did it because the district needed him. Um, but he also, I think, uh, found a calling and, and found a way to make even a bigger impact in education and for students and teachers than he already was. So many things that make Dr. Doherty such a great leader and it's hard to pick out. Uh, it's hard to pick out anything, but I think if I had to say um, some specifics, one of them is he, unlike anyone I know, allows people to make their own decisions and supports them. Very sympathetic to the situation. I think he really tries to understand all the different perspectives that are involved. Just the fact that he's really charismatic and he's easy to talk to, um, I think that just makes him likable by all types of people. He's a great leader because he's very visible. Like, since he's been superintendent, like, there was rarely a, an event where you didn't catch him at. Like, he would go to six-year camp, he'd go to concerts, like, sports games, like, science fairs, like, literally everything. And I think that that is something that's really um, unique about him as a superintendent. Um, I think sometimes when you think of a superintendent, you think of them as like very distanced and very far away. But it was actually like very easy for me to like reach out to Dr. Dory and be like, hey, um, like I want your input on this idea or I want students to be able to have this and how can I do that? His interactions with students were always um, genuine and, and truly like from the heart. Like he really knew the kids, um, really was invested in who they were as humans, who they, you know, who they are as humans, um, outside of even just them as readers and writers and mathematicians. But, and so to watch him interact with kids, like he truly um, demonstrated interest in like, not just what they're doing academically, but who they were as, as people. I think that, I mean, I'll miss most having such an amazing leader to look up to and and to learn from uh and, and and i think when you have someone in your life that cares about you and cares about your friends and your peers mm -hmm. in that way it's it's hard to um it's hard to have that feeling and and to, you know it's hard to not have someone like that in your life i think i'm also really gonna miss his laugh he has the greatest laugh and and sometimes even when things are are just super serious and, and super tense um, somebody will say something and, and his infectious laugh will just come out it's a very special part of who he is and, and i think i'll miss that the most you know when you just like walk by the halls he's always you know greeting everybody no matter what time of day it is and he's just always like i don't know he just is always happy so he always makes everyone around him happy he loves being with students. He loves getting the, I mean, that's what he loves most about what he does. And, um, and I think that's really special. And so one of the things that he used to do is he would come, he would come out to recess and he would roll the kickballs to us. And so uh, he, I remember one time he did that and I remember, I don't remember who it was, but I remember this one kid kicking a ball straight back at him. And he like, and he like turned and it was so funny. I was like, oh my gosh, this is our principal standing there like getting kicked by kickballs because he loves being with kids so much. And that for me was a moment where it was like, he's, you know, he really cares about us. I feel very lucky that um, that I, I I got to know him. I mean, he knows kind of my trajectory into this position was a little bit serendipitous. I, I feel very lucky and I feel like, um, you know, a lot of times I'll have things just kind of happen for a reason. And I think one of those reasons was so that I could know him and work for him because he's, he's pretty remarkable. You know, one of the last things he always says to me is be good and you know, for years I thought yeah, it's kind of a weird thing to say, um, and then it was only you know until it was only just a couple years ago when I found out um, that's what his dad used to say to him every time he left the house. And I think you know I think Sean says that to more people than just me, but I think he says that to people because he he genuinely cares about. As much as I can be like Dr. Doherty, I try to be, I think, is, is how I sum it up. So um, that's, that's really what, it, it'll be hard to, to not have that person, um, you know, just there all the time.